unlike the BJT, which has two junctions between the emitter and the collector, the FET has a single homogeneous channel. And this means that it can be used to switch analog signals on and off with minimal distortion. Don't mistake this function for a power switch. What we're talking about here is for switching small analog signals on or off, not large power signals. I don't intend to go into lots of detail on this function of the FET because you can just look it up in any good textbook. But the device can be used either as a series or shunt switch as shown on the screen. You can also buy arrays of such switches on a single chip and this allows you to switch analog signals from multiple sources into a single wire or connection and this is called an analog multiplexer. When the FET is operating in this mode, it is switching completely on or off. In a similar and related way, an FET operating at low values of VDS, an area which is called the ohmic region of its characteristic, can act like a voltage controlled resistor. This is shown on the screen. As these two applications of FETs, as an analog switch or as a voltage controlled resistor, are somewhat specialized, I would recommend that if you want to use them, you read up about them before use.